Some came home from Rabaul. This documentary features survival stories from Australian and American Pacific War veterans. These wonderful men and women were POWs, except for three of them who managed to escape captivity. Listening to their stories will help you realise what these amazing men and women endured for us. With the jungle camps and the Burma Railway and so on, it, uh, I was just very fortunate indeed. I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I got a bit uh, stirred up about that one. Do you remember any Japanese? Watashi wa skoshi wa karimasu. I understand a little. Because to survive, you had to trade. I never thought they were going to win. No. At no stage. And when did you actually find out for sure that they'd lost? Oh, Christ. There's a story. Have a look at this. Who's got the biggest head? <laughs> Me. <laughs> you can't miss me. Len, I just want to say personally thank you for what you did for Australia, mate. I appreciate it. You guys gave us the lives that we've got today. Mate, we'd be in the fields planting rice if it wasn't for blokes like you. These Australian soldiers were heroes. Never lost hope. Always thought we'd see Australia again, yes. Even the, even the girls who were desperately sick towards the end never gave a cow who was dying with TB and had her two lungs completely gone. She was so ill that if she'd been in a normal life she would have died, but she was determined she was going to get back to Australia. He pretty soon the war's going to be over. He says, what does she want? He, he would like to come to America and visit me. I says, I saw this guy, I saw this guy. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Out through the harbour to the destroyer where we were received many cheers from the crew and uh, were given bottles of beer, of good Aussie beer. And uh, we were happy, free at last, free at last. It was, of course, the most wonderful day of my life.